Welcome back. In this video, as we finish up the review of Unit 2, we will graph some lines, some piecewise functions, and some absolute value functions. So here we have a line with its equation in standard form. There are multiple ways to graph this. For today's purposes, we're going to put this into slope-intercept form. So we're going to move this over here. So we're going to get 5y equals negative 4x plus 20. And then we'll divide everything by 5 to get y by itself. And we get y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 4. The y-intercept is 4, so we'll plot a point at 4 on the y-axis. The slope is negative 4 fifths, so this line should be falling. It's going to go down 4 and right 5. We want to put as many points on a graph as we can, and in this case, that is as many as we can. So we're just going to have to stop at those two points and make sure we put arrows on both ends because a line continues forever in two directions. Next, we have two parts of lines to graph in two different domains. So this is a piecewise function. So each of them has an edge of the domain at x equals 2. So at x equals 2, let's just dot in a vertical line here. Okay, so one of them will be on the left side, one will be on the right side. Now this first line is f of x equals or y equals negative 1, and that's just like 0x minus 1. So the slope is 0, the y-intercept is negative 1, and with a slope of 0, it's going to be a horizontal line, but only graphed for x is less than 2. So the domain here is x is less than 2, which means we are going to graph to the left side of x equals 2. And look at that, that less than, that's pointing left, right? So we want to graph to the left side. So we've got a horizontal line at y equals negative 1, but only left of x equals 2. So it looks like this. And when I get here, I'm going to put a circle there on the edge of the domain, and I can put an arrow to the left, and it's less than 2, but not equal to 2. So I'm going to leave that circle open. It gets infinitely close to that point, but does not touch it. Next is y equals 2x minus 1. For x is greater than or equal to 2. Greater than means to the right. And look at that. That greater than symbol points right, doesn't it? So we're going to graph to the right side, the greater than side of 2. 2x minus 1. So the, the y-intercept is negative 1. So it would cross the y-axis right here, except its domain says it can only be graphed over here. We still have to start at that y-intercept, and we have to follow the slope of 2 or 2 over 1. So up 2 and right 1, and we're still not in the correct domain. Up 2 and right 1 again. And now we are there at the edge of the domain. Let's put a circle there. And then go up 2 and right 1 again, and that is what it's going to look like. Now it is greater than or equal to 2, so I can fill this one in. Okay, now over here we have a domain with its edge at 0. So right here on the y-axis where x is 0, that's the edge of the domain. So we're going to graph negative 2x to the left side less than 0. Negative 2x with a y-intercept of 0. Negative 2x plus 0. So the y-intercept is right here, and it's on the edge of the domain, so let's put a circle there. The slope is negative 2x. Now, negative 2x could mean down 2 and right 1. So that's a slope of negative 2, but that's not the correct domain. I need to go to the left side of 0. So instead of down and right, let's go up 2 and left 1. And that is what the left side of the graph will look like. Okay, and it is less than but not equal to, so we will not fill that in. The next line is y equals x plus 1. It has a y-intercept of 1, and we're on the edge of the domain, so let's put our circle there. And the slope is 1, so up 1 and right 1 as many times as we can. And there is our graph. 
It is greater than or equal to, so that's why we graphed it to the right side of x equals zero. And because it's greater than or equal to, I get to fill this in. Okay, next we will graph a line. We've got a slope and a y-intercept. The y-intercept is two, up two. The slope is negative one-fourth, down one, right four. And I ran out of room to do any more this way, so let's go up one and left four. So we maintain our slope through the whole graph. And there's our line. Next we have an absolute value function. So with an absolute value function, the first thing I look for is A, it's right here, it's one. A is positive, so I know in the end my graph should open upward. My vertex comes from these numbers, but it's opposite of what's here, so negative three, and then exactly what's here, negative one, negative three, negative one, that's my vertex. So let's graph that, negative three, negative one is right there. There's the vertex. On the right side, the slope is one, that's A. M equals one on the right side. So that's four X's that are to the right of or greater than negative three, the X value of the vertex. So on the right side, my slope is one. So that's up one and right one. On the left side, the slope is the opposite of A, negative one. And that's for X's less than or left of negative three. Negative one would mean up and left. And there we have a V shape opening upward. Okay, here's another absolute value function here. The A is negative one, so A is negative, so this one's going to open downward. The vertex comes from here and here. Here's a zero. And normally we would change the sign in here, but changing the sign on a zero doesn't really do anything. And then we keep this sign, zero, one. There's my vertex. The slope is A, negative one, but only on the right side. So that is for X's that are greater than the X value of the vertex, zero. So to the right of zero, we have a slope of negative one. That's down one and right one. So that's what the right side is going to look like. Don't forget our arrows because it goes forever in that direction. On the left side, the slope is the opposite of A. It's positive one, and that's for X's that are less than the X value of the vertex, zero. Positive one would be up and right or down and left, and that gives us our downward opening V shape. And last, we're gonna take the graph of a line and write its equation. So we're gonna go into Y equals MX plus B. So first we need the slope. Let's use this point and this point, and let's just count the rise and the run. Remember M, the slope, is rise over run. The rise is one, two, three units. The run is one, two, three, four units. So the slope is three fourths. Y equals three fourths X. Okay, then we need the Y intercept. It crosses the Y axis right here at negative three, so minus three, and that is the equation of our line.